Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 5 and my 100 day survival series on the forest. We have now acquired the climbing axe and the scuba suit so we can fully explore all the caves. So first on our to-do list is to go through and change all of our caves that we've explored from green flag from explored to blue flag for fully explored. Oh yeah. And apart from that we're also doing some upgrades people. Upgrades to the base and we're going to be filling in every last available space on the boat. Uh, I could definitely go another water collector. You can never have too many of these. Log holder. That's what we want. That's what we want. Hold the big boys. Let's not put it too far up, because that's where we have to jump, and I don't want to, like, bonk trying to get up. Let's put that, like, right back there, like, there. 16! Okay, we need a lot of sticks. Everything else we're pretty good for. The arrow and bone basket we could probably put inside the base, is they're pretty, uh, pretty small. And maybe a couple more of those skeleton lights, so it's easy to see our boat during night time. Hell yeah. One there. And one there. Nice, space is looking better already. Okay, sticks, lots and lots of sticks. Hello there. Well, the chainsaw, I've only used it once so far, but now, twice. Oh, the chainsaw just eats the trees. And it's pretty good on gas. Like, we're not even halfway through the gas. It's more work. I gotta say, genuinely, this game has like the uh, best trolley mechanics of any game I've ever played. This really feels like I'm pushing like, pushing, like a, uh, a supermarket trolley. Oh, well, there's a couple of muties. Push faster! Push faster! Should we test out our new bow on the muties, chat? Or do they not want a piece of this? Oh, I haven't fucking got my sticks yet, have I? I did want to test out how much stronger the uh, bow is than the the compound bow is than the normal bow. So, off stream, I tested it and it took 19 shots for me to bring down the one with all the legs. That is the worst. That is the worst. Let's see how much quicker the compound bow is. One. Two. Oh. Three. They don't attack together, that's weird. Four. Five. Five?! It's four times stronger than the normal bow?! Ooh, what?! Oh, that is wild. This thing does quadruple damage. Damn. Damn, that is actually out of control. Also, good to know that mutants don't necessarily back each other up in combat. Those two didn't attack together when I attacked the first one. That is really good information for later. Okay, keep the lights on. Oh, keep the mutants. Keep the log holder. And now we should be able to take logs up there to store. Oh, you want to go, buddy? You want to go? You met the compound bow? Skadoosh! That's the power of the compound bow chat. Damn! When I um, eventually do another playthrough of this, which will happen when we like do everything we can in this world to get the platinum, where we have to do a, uh, I think the achievements are vegan run, like vegetarian run, and I think there might be a, like a speed run or run without killing enemies. I'm going to rush the bow. I'm going to rush the bow. I feel like it's going to be a game changer having it early. Oh, that reminds me actually. Okay, that's max storage. That reminds me. Uh, I was mucking around in the inventory and I seen that if we get one of each of these uh, I'm missing one of the flowers but we can make an energy mix but I don't have one of each of them right but if I can eventually get them that would be great and I'm pretty sure those are the ones that can go in these little seed planters so let's make two more of those and eventually we can get one of each seed and make our own uh, delicious energy mixes when we eventually get enough Double hand. Here we go, chat. <laughs> that is how you power tap. Do you know what I learned that from? It was the weirdest thing. Back on Oblivion, back on the day. So like the first uh, role-playing game I ever got into. Oh, what was it over there? 
me and my cousin used to play it together. Uh, both on his account, and originally I got my own uh, PlayStation account. I should put these on the uh, drawing rack. And there was a, a little cheese you could do where if you had, it was like quite hard to get money, or it was when we were kids at least, in, um, in Oblivion. So if you bought like this real lavish house, it had a secondary effect that you could hire a maid. And the maid could uh, give you one pie for free. And of course the game knew you would sell that pie, so they made the pie worth zero. Makes sense, right? Makes sense. But if you had a hundred alchemy, you can make potions with one ingredient. So you would spam free pie in her like text chat, which was like three things. So it'd be like three X's was what was one. And then you'd go into the Android screen and spam create potion. And then it was like an infinite money exploit. All you had to do was mash X. Nice. Built up to the max. Oh, is my sleep still on cooldown? No. That's one mechanic I hate about this this game. Whoops, just attack my base. You can only sleep like every two days. It's super weird. Um, while we're chilling here, we should uh, make some arrows. Oh, that's really <sighs> Cause I've been using quite a few. It must be running low now. No, we still got heaps! We still got heaps, we can always have more, right? Unfortunately, there's no auto craft in this game. You have to manually apply the ingredients every time. It's super annoying. I've gotten very fast at menuing because of it, because of it though. I've never tried that out before. Let's try out the incendiary spear chat. Let's do it, let's do it. So I believe we have to light it. No, you don't have to light it. All right, so I guess we just throw it? Uh, we kind of need a hand to tell where it's going to go. Because you don't get a crosshair in this game. Oh, cool. So it automatically goes off, which is really good. Normal Molotovs won't do that. And it turns back into a normal spear afterwards. That is actual crack. That is actual crack. Can I just, like, stab her and that happen? No, if you just stab, it's like a normal stab. Which is very weak. Dad takes like 50 million fucking hits to take him down. Uh, you know what? Let's go fill our water pot up. Here, there it is. Wow, it's instantly ready? That was so quick, what? If you leave the fire on beforehand, I think it glitches and thinks you put the pot on from when you started the fire and just instantly cooks it. Well, uh, we have some water if I need it. That's cool, that's cool. The arrow basket and... The bone basket, They're like storage. 21 sticks? 20, that is a ridiculous amount of sticks. Oh, sunrise on this game. Needs a smile to my face. Needs a smile on my face. All right, let's start with exploring that cannibal village over to the left, as I'm pretty sure that has some aioli around it, which will have a small chance of giving us uh, aioli seeds. Maybe you have to cook them in a pot to get the mix. Maybe you can't mix them in your inventory, but then, why would the craft come up in the inventory? That doesn't make sense. Hmm. You can test that, though, next time we cook something in the pot. Do I remember, like, in and around these houses? Yeah, aioli! Aioli. So, eat all our aiolis. Never mind, we can actually put more up. I've only got one. Hello, Vera. Awesome gas. We fill that. Grab those. Excellent. I mean, that was one aioli. Any chance of some more growing? Yes. <gasps> aioli seeds! Aioli seeds! Oh, let's go, okay. The two aioli seeds. If nice. We now have bone storage. Sweet. And what else was it doing? Yeah, we got aioli seeds, so plant that down. That's part one of our three-part energy mixture. Cool. Can I plant more than one in the same plot? It looks like I can, but you can't. Like, that's only taking up half the space, right? I feel like I could fit another one in there. You can! You can! You just press square on the same thing. Oh, wicked! We've got two aeolis. Oh, I'm actually stoked about that. That is great. You see those aeolis? You stoked about that too, buddy? I'm going to give you an aeoli fucking sandwich right now. That went way straighter than I thought it was going to go. Forget how powerful the modern bow is. 
Oh yeah, that's more like it. Did I never put a marker in front of this cave? I never did. Let's do that before I forget. Helps remember uh, where you've been in this rather confusing game. It's going to be so confusing in Sons of the Forest. It's like four times the size. And let's make that blue so we know we've explored that and the water in that area. Sweet. Still need to go back and go through all of those ones. I forgot to mark the cave on the other edge of the island as well that we were exploring yesterday. What am I doing, chat? I'm forgetting to mark all the caves. Oh, well, I think I can make it back there by memory. My internal map's going pretty well right now. Which is frustrating because we have a literal map and looking at this, like, throws me off real bad. It throws me off real bad. <laughs> okay, so I went back off stream and just looked at a screenshot of this for like 10 minutes and eventually figured out what we're looking at. So, obviously the big black circle in the middle is the sinkhole, right? And if we go to the left of that, that's the cannibal village next to where I'm basing with the water raft. Meaning that the white open space isn't the water like I thought, that's actually the land. And the water is the coloured in part with the specks? That is the opposite of what I expected. And on top of that, it's too zoomed in. Like, if you look at the bottom left, there's the anchor we found last episode. And if you go down from that, there's the big tree. The big tree can't fit on the map. It's very strange. Even now I know how to use this, I think I'm still going to use my internal map. Oh, two boars? So, before we headed back down to re-explore the caves we'd already explored and do all the climbing wall and scuba suit sections, I decided to follow the ridge line of the snowy section just before it gets too cold and we start freezing. We will eventually explore that. We need a warm suit and see if we could find anything of interest. And I followed it all the way along till we got to the opposite shore where we very first started back on episode one and found absolutely nothing. But, hey, glad we've got it explored. Yeah, there's so a whole bunch of not much along this ridge line. A whole bunch of not much. Good to have fully explored it though. There might have been something there. Did I not mark this cave? Apparently not. It's like a little marker here. How did I forget that? How much mistake? Mark that as green for what needs to be re-explored. Time for a quick power nap. Nice. Alright, so time for a bit of cave exploration. Have I crafted everything I can with rabbit fur too? No! We still need rabbit fur boots. Oh, let's craft those before we forget. Can I put those on? How does that work? Increases stealth. Oh, I can't I can't equip them though. I'm pressing equip and it isn't putting them on. Weird. Oh, it started raining. Okay, that's good. We'll have heaps of water when we get back then. I'm going in. Thank God they can't follow you down here. Yeah, this is like a full scuba cave. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I can't tell if this is quicker or not. Oh, that was a tiny cave. We probably could have done that without the scuba suit. I feel like when we go in the future and we need to do the challenge runs, like the vegan run or like the speed run for the achievements, we'll be able to do it quite easily. There's babies down there. Uh, knowing these like little tricks. Okay, that wasn't in the light so I can get it, but I'm never going to be able to get another one. I usually use a flare when I'm in the cave to see what's going on. That is a great idea! I've never used the flares in this game. And you're right, that's a, that a great idea. But they actually work so well. They actually work so well. Oh, the big brain plays. Okay, I did refuel my battery, nice. Oh, shit, well I'm down now. Yeah, you're right, if there's babies, there must be a mama close. What the hell happened down here? Oh, some fuel, nice. Coal throwing spear is actually pretty beast. Wait, am I on the other side of this cave already? Oh, this is one of the entrances to the chasm. Ooh, and that's my log that fell down here before. No way, no way. Well, there's no turning back now, chat. Let's go. I'm going to throw that further up. Yeet! I said yeet! 
straight through the map. Straight through the map. Ooh, what have we got here? Some of that alcohol I was looking for. I'm actually a little low on health. I'm going to eat one of those and pick another one up. A whole bunch of sticks. I do actually need that. Flares. Oh, some sodies. That's good. That's good. I was low on sodies. I'm already max. Let's eat. Oh, and X marks the spot. We already found that one. Okay, that's good though, because that proves that you can access them without first having to find the photograph. The photograph isn't like tied to the item spawning. That's good to know. It's like a helicopter down there. Ooh. Is that like a rescue copter come to look for someone? We'll soon find out. I wonder if you could like pick the helicopter blade up or something and use it as a weapon. That'd be sick. Ooh, another passenger. It is, the red just screams danger. Yeah! Yeah! It just reminds me of like an alien when they throw the flare down and they're like, see the aliens like sort of moving in the wall on the background. Genuinely curdles my skin thinking of that. Oh god, is this actually the way? I don't want to fall off and die. I think it is. I think it is the way. Oh, yeah, hella high up. Oh, this is the back of that other cave. Oh. oh. Okay, okay, okay. You can't actually access this from the other side because, like, if you drop down here, there's no way back. I'm going to pass you to. Oh, well, we, we can immediately go into another cave. Sweet, mark that as blue for completed. Hell yeah, two blue caves? Oh, that sense of achievement is flourishing strong in my stomach right now, chat. Stomach, heart, and my soul. You know what I mean. Okay. And let's drink this too. Oh, it dried up. What? Or did a cannibal drink it? What? Oh, we got ripped there. We should change this from green to gold. I feel like gold means home more than green. Nice. Going in. All right, I'm going in. <sighs> what is that? What is that? Did someone drown here? Yeah, I think they got stuck and drowned. Oh, that's terrifying. Huh. Why did that update my to-do list? I didn't even find anything. I didn't find anything, game. What do you mean, updated to-do list? Oh! I, that's this cave fully explored. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, eat that. I'll have a sip. And then have a sleep. Wait, is it really daytime? No, it's a very bright night, though. Maybe there is a moon cycle in this game, because that, that is definitely brighter than it was last night. All right, let's eat another one of those. Have another sip. And we are good to go. Right. Oh! Some, um... Chahori? Chicory! It's chicory. That's how you're supposed to say it. Oh, is that some unopened storage containers? I don't mind if I do. Oh, new drip. <laughs> like, unless the arm, um, like what you're wearing on your sleeves changes, there's no way to tell what has changed. <laughs> Literally no way to tell. I guess just for the multiplayer swag. Yeah, here we go. It's opening out. I think this is the beach here. Another pond. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Well, we never made it to the beach. <laughs> Hey, I was just trying to go to the beach. I was just trying to have a nice chill beach day. But you guys just couldn't let me have it, could you? You just couldn't let me have it. Ah! It was the wrong time to try and light the fire. 
Oh, what a shot! What a shot! Oh, this bow is actually cracked. Uh, well, that's some free bones, right, chat? We take that, we take that. In a literal sense, like, we're literally getting the bones, not, like, those kind of bones. You're a dirty bone, chat. The other one's just bailed! They seen us waste those other guys, and they're like, no, we ain't messing with that guy. He's crazy! He just killed, like, four of us in one shot! Oh, I think this is it, I think this is it. Yeah, that's the cave right there. That's the cave right there. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Alright, let's mark that out. Alright, that's another one we've fully explored. Excellent. Ooh. Oh, a cave. A cave. We actually found one. Oh, no way. Score. Score. Alright, let's mark this out. Um... I guess green for now, I and mean, then we can mark it blue if we end up fully exploring it. All right, our first new cave of the stream, chat. Let's go, let's go. Much better. Oh, small cave. Can I pick up that camera? No, but I can pick this up. More of... Oh, Timmy's drawings. Oh. Ah, uh, hello? Is this not breakable? I'm going out the big guns. <laughs> there we go. The game's like, you can break it. That pitiful spear, though? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Big boy weapons only allowed to break that. Any cannibals in here? Oh, look at all those delicious sodies. Oh, I'm so glad my inventory's full of them. Oh, wish I'd stored my sodies now. Oh, well. Ooh. Is that a dead end? No, that keeps going. That keeps going. Alright, that's clear. Not sure if I've been here before or not. None of this is ringing a bell, but... Oh, enemies. We definitely haven't been here before. I don't think enemies respawn. Skadoosh. Whoa, what is that? That kind of looks like a cannibal. No, he's wearing, he's wearing undies. <laughs> Cannibals wouldn't be wearing undies. Oh, yes, there was. It goes down, down, down. Oh, my God. God, even Gollum would think this is deep down. Whoa! Is that literally a suitcase full of money? Cha-ching! <laughs> We're literally just going to burn this to keep warm, but I mean, hey, we take those, right? We take those. Whoa, a um, plain meal. That's the first one I've seen since the start of the game. Come on, let me eat it. Game, give me my plain meal! I deserve this! There it goes. Nice. No, it was just, it just glitched for a second. Another plain meal. Some sodies. A bunch of... Passenger. Oh my god, he's got a suitcase full of guts. Uh, no special collectibles here, though. Get at least one is worth back. Oh, I just picked up a plastic torch through the wall. It's our kinetic powers, chat. It's our magic powers. Oh, is that all that's there? But that is not all. We either picked up an item from MASH collecting the other items or with our kinetic powers through the wall, but there is something we missed. And we're back out. Shit, it's night time too. Right, change that to blue for fully explored. Oh my god, did I pick up a torch and a katana through the wall and not even realize? Oh my fucking god. What? I didn't even notice! I didn't even notice! Oh, oh damn. Alright, ding 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 ding! Calling all cannibals! 
Calling all cannibals come to get decapitated right now. Ooh, two muties down there. I don't know if taking on muties with the melee weapon is a good idea, but fuck it, let's do it, chat. All right, let's kill one off and then try and take the other one out with melee. Don't starve kiting. Oh, shit. Crap, I have both of them on me now. Go down already! Nice. To try the samurai sword out. You have dishonored my family. I shall bring you a swift death. Ha! Imagine, imagine, that'd be sick. Ow. Oh, I should have now stamina. There's a problem with close range weapons. It's insane the bow doesn't require stamina, it makes it so OP. And please go down, please. Damn it, the freezing is making my stamina recover slower. There he goes! There he goes. There we go. Oh, look at that gorgeous weapon chat. That was supposed to be an arrow container. I think I built the wrong one. It's still letting me switch arrows there, though. Weird. Oh my god, it's pissing down. That is really loud too, for some reason. That is really loud. Um, maybe some more lights around the base? Maybe like another one over here? Yeah, nice! Light it up a bit more, that's nice. Yeah, I think, uh, I think the upgrades have hurt maximum tier, chat. Oh, there is one more thing we can build. Uh, we can build rabbit traps on the land, and put the rabbit cage there instead. The rabbit trap. Okay, okay. So I guess we just place that around a commonly like traversed place by rabbits. Let's try here. Now rabbits normally spawn. Yeah, there's one there. There's one there. All right. So surprise it from this side. Hey ya! Yep. Run straight. Run straight. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. No. Oh wait. It still fell down. Did it work? Yes! A dead! A dead! Um, crap. I can't get to my base now. <laughs> I parked it too deep. I don't imagine you can, like, swim with this. Oh my god, am I going to lose this first rabbit? Yes. Fuck. Nice. Right, let's not bungle this jump. Nice. Alright, jump up to the top, and then rabbit in the hutch excellent and i can pick it up too yeah nice and i guess we need another one for it to breed with right there's another one right there i guess it, it, it that was its friend that wanted to to go and breed with it it is your lucky day buddy because i am running a rabbit breeding program all right run up go <laughs> it's going super it wants me to catch it it wants me to catch it. This rabbit is 100% in cahoots with the other one. <laughs> oh, well, fair enough, dude. Fair enough. I ain't gonna complain. I ain't gonna complain. You do you. You do you, buddy. They breeding like rabbits up there. Okay, and now there's two. See, it stands up. It's loving it. It's loving it. When we come back, there should be three. And we can kill the third one and dry the meat for, like, uh, infinite food. Hell yes. Left or right, chat. Left or right. Oh, quick, let's get him before we get wet. Let's go right. 
here I decided to go back and explore some of the caves I'd already done, except this time do the underwater areas, and unfortunately in these two caves we did not find anything new. Oh shit! We got a live one! Oh shit! It's quick too! <laughs> Speaking of Scooby, when he goes, Whoa! that kind of sounds like Scooby Doo. Waggy, I do like human flesh, Waggy. Oh God, Scoob, you've turned into a cannibal. <laughs> All right, mark that blue for completed. The berries, poisonous. Yes. Oh, you know what we could do with these chat? Let's put them in our pouch. I've discovered a new plant. Cool. And then we can combine these with the samurai sword. Does it need more? To make the poison samurai sword. Ooh! I don't know what those random white things are, but I guess that's the, the poison? Cool, cool. Oh, uh, one more thing I wanted to check as well. It just reminded me seeing that picture down there. Oh, beauty on the way too. Um... That's a picture frame, right? If I'm holding a picture, can I place it? It says press square to place. Is it actually going to let me? Yes! Um. Well, I didn't mean to just chuck the ball on the floor there, but... I mean... That, that's where they are now! Fuck's sake. Those are my son's special pictures! I wanted to put them on the wall and the game's like, no, no, no. Those are going on the floor, but they belong. Ah, oh, that's not a cave entrance over there, is it? Is it like over there overhang? Oh, I think it is. I think it is. Oh, ho, ho, yes! And a picture we never found. Ooh, another one of the gun parts. Hell yeah. Oh, let's mark this down. Let's mark this down. Uh, yellow for, to explore, I guess. But unfortunately, that is the end of episode five. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And with this episode, we have officially hit day 25 and a quarter of the way done with our challenge. Now, it looks like we're easily going to be able to 100% the game before we hit day 100, like do all the in-game tasks and finish the story and get the Platinum Trophy. But I recently seen a, another YouTuber add a list of their own challenges to add an extra element of fun to the game. So once we complete all the in-game challenges, like the checklist and the finish of the game, I'm going to add a list of my own more hardcore challenges to do to add a bit of fun for the last few days.